Hey everyone, Mr. Holder here. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show you how to publish your game once you're ready to go with it. Um, and uh, it's pretty easy. So here's my project library. Um, so say I pick a project, I'm going to go with this custom collisions one. So I'm going to click on it first. Get it loaded up so you guys can see it if I hit play. This is just something I did for custom collisions to show you the difference between the two. Anyway, so um, back in editor, uh, once you're done, you're going to go up here to the publish cloud icon and don't do update game. That would be if uh, the game's already been published um, to the published library. I'll show you where that is in a second here. What you want to do is new game and then you're going to get this little pop up here. Sometimes it takes a little longer than others since this really isn't actually a game, it's just kind of a preview. Um, but your game, if it's several levels and it's depending on how sophisticated it is, it might take a little bit longer. But you'll see that uh, pop up there and said it was done. Once that's done, you don't want to go back here, even if it's taking a long time, and don't don't hit this again. Uh, you want to wait till you get that prompt that it's finished, and then go to your account button here, down to published projects, and you're going to see it uh, listed within this little um, column here. And so there's my custom collisions. And if you click on any of these, once it's been kind of published to your library, to your published projects, you're going to click this and you're going to send it to which type of device you want your players to, to actually be able to play it on. So I'm going to do mine to the game salad arcade. It looks like ah, there we go. Don't know why I did that. That's weird. Uh, Oh, it looks like I've already done this one. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is then remove this. Okay, let's see if I can go back now. I'll close this out. Okay, so back over. Again, I'm in my published project library. There we go. Um, if that happens, if you, if you saw what just took place right there, um, Look here under under this the platforms section. If you see a number there, that, that means you probably already did it. If that ever happens. If not, then you want to click on arcade. And uh, but the first thing that I would do is make sure you just click private on that. And uh, as you can see, it says anyone with the link to this game can see it, but it would be not listed in the arcade to the to the public. Public requires you to have you know an icon and some screenshots and stuff. Doing it private just makes it a little bit easier. You just have to add um, a name. You could just leave it like this if you want to as well, but um, just put maybe your name in there. And uh, nickname, your, you can give it a nickname if you want to, I suppose. And then just a quick, you know, couple sentence description of what your game's about. You don't have to worry about screenshots, but that, that's pretty much it. Um, when you're all done, you're gonna hit the publish button. And this is the part that's gonna take a while um, especially for a game that has multiple levels, again, based on its level of sophistication, how many graphics you put in there, how big those graphics are. It takes a little while to be able to do that. But once it's done, I wanted to kind of show you that how this button that says play will become enabled. That's how you know it's, it's completely done. So then you can actually click that to be able to play your game. So you're not going to see any kind of playable game. It's just that little animation I created. Um, but the most important thing that you want to get is this link right here. You want to copy paste this link, write it down, take a picture with your phone, whatever you need to do. Um, get that link because that's how you could play your game in the future. Especially if, um, uh, you know, you're not in the class and maybe like a couple of years from now, if you have that link somehow, all you'd have to do is copy paste that into a browser. Open up a new, a new link, paste that in. You're going to be able to play the game you made. So it's kind of like your way of, of being able to keep the game. So that's it. Um, uh, do the best you can. Again, you have to be a little bit patient how long it takes. And uh, good luck.